To me, uh, when I think about unpaid care, it's basically what sustains people. So without that, if that is not provided, that is when you notice what unpaid care is. And besides just uh, the fact that unpaid care work is provided um, and it's, it sustains people, that it's done out of love and that it holds the whole society together, it's also when you look at the economy, that e the economy in terms of what we do in the productive sphere, it's sustained by what is done as reproductive work in the private sphere at home. So it's very, very important, but at the same time, the issue is not fully recognized in policy. So when I think about the issue of unpaid care, uh, what it reminds me of is that it's such an important issue, but it's also an issue that's still hidden in a sense, and that's still not focused upon. The issue of unpaid care, I, I think, um, took me by surprise when I started working on it because it made me um, look at things and listen to things very differently. Things that I've been hearing my mother and my sister say and do over the, you know, over as many years as I can imagine. For example, you know, arranging for, you know, the children to be fed and the meals to be cooked or uh, the car to fetch someone and just organizing like all the logistical things that can, can uh, go that goes into running a household and they put in so much time. But, you know, I, it, it never occurred to me to think of uh, it as a uh, care work that they don't get recognition for. Well, at Brack University, what we are focusing right now is uh, three things. What well, first is to sort of scope and see what has been done around unpaid care in Bangladesh. Uh, the second bit is to develop policy asks, depending on what we find in research and also in policy documents and what is relevant for the women in Bangladesh around unpaid care. And the third bit is to raise uh, awareness around the issue of unpaid care. I've had the opportunity to work on the National Action Plan for Women's Advancement in, in the sense that a friend was working on the drafting of the plan and they were looking for suggestions on what needed to be added or to make it more responsive to women's needs. So I just took the opportunity of suggesting that they might add um, uh, different provisions on unpaid care work in the relevant sections. We've had a policy for a long time, but in, in many respects it hasn't been implemented because there wasn't a clear framework with which to do so. So the National Action Plan covers various sectors and it's going to be coordinated by the Ministry of Women's Affairs, but they formulated it in a very consultative process.